How to create spirals in Photoshop. Something like this. This spiral is a vector design. It's a vector shape. Now, what you can do, you can just go over to create a new document first. But really easy way of creating a spiral is using guides. So view and new guide layout. Now, set the rows and columns to 16 and 16, or 20 and 20. Click OK. Now you've got lots of guides. Just go to the pen tool over in the toolbar. Go to the center. Click on that intersection at the center and just go around and around. Just click in on the intersections of the guides. And you can repeat that number of times creating all kinds of spiral arms. Now I'm creating equal distant ones there, but you can go for any kind of spiral. That's it. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn it into a curved design. But first, before I do that, I'm just gonna show you snap. Make certain your snap is on, snap two. And you can also go to the stroke at the top, there and set the color to black, green, blue, whatever. Also, you can change the stroke width so you can actually see it. You can also go to view and clear the guides. Go to the direct selection tool and you can select it and you can see all the points. So there's all the points now for that spiral. But I want it curved. So don't go to the first point. Don't want to touch the first point. Just go to the second point, double click on it, and that converts it, converts it into a curve, a rounded point. And you can repeat that with all of the points. So double click all the way around. Now just repeat that, all there, another point. Now you don't want to do the last one. You don't want the last point to be double clicked. So I'm just going to go there, there. Now, don't want to do that one because what happens, it joins between the first and the last. Don't want that. So press escape. Now you've got your design. And again, you can change the stroke so you can see it a bit better. Stroke width or weight. Now, you can then save that to your library. So just go to Window and Libraries if you want to save it for future use. But you also can, you can go to Layer and Smart Objects and Convert to Smart Objects. So it's, it's converted to a smart object. Window Menu and Libraries, so you can just save it. I like to save my stuff to the libraries. This just makes it easier for future use. Once you've done that, what you can do, you can make it slightly more colorful than just a, a black spiral. So you can go to a layer, layer style, and bevel and boss. So you can give it a bit more depth. So you can just change the depth, size, soften, change the gloss. All, there's a whole range of settings. So you're happy with that spiral. Now, I'm going to change the colour as well. And also I'm going to add a shadow to it. Drop shadow. So just go select the drop shadow. Change the distance. Change that to flat. There, the quality. And change the size. And you can see that lovely drop shadow behind. Also, I'm going to add some colour. I'm going to use a gradient. So I'm going to go for gradient overlay. Got a gradient there made up of multiple stops. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the default gradients. Just run through those. Once you're happy with that, click OK. Let's move that across. Click OK. Now you've got your spiral. Now what you can do, you can save that to a smart object as well. So layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. So the whole thing the spiral and the style, all one smart object. You can resize that, rotate it, 
You can also apply transformations. As well as adjustments and filters. But I'm just going to go to edit and transform. Maybe use warp. So instead of just a very, very basic spiral, what you can do, you can distort it. So you can just chain, use the arms to just drag the design out and create all kinds of wonderful spiral shapes. So once you're happy with that, click OK. And again, you can then save that to your library as well. But you can also apply filters, so you can just go to maybe filter, and liquefy, or oil paint, or blurs. Now I'm using liquefy. Using the liquefy tools, you can just drag and distort the spiral in numerous, numerous ways. Click OK, and then you've got your design there. Now you can also go to image and adjustments, and maybe vibrance, hue, and saturation, and you can use colorize. Change the color of your design. Change the lightness. Click OK. Now, window and layers. So you can see the layers panel there, and you can see the shape. You can also see the hue and saturation. Now, you can double click on that little icon there and go into the design. So you can actually go back to the original spiral. The original spiral is still there. What you can do, you can select all the points using the direct section tool. You can change the color. You can also change the stroke width. Maybe make it thinner. Or thicker. Also, maybe add stroke options. There's an option there like dots. It's a little dots there. Go to more options and you can change the gap. So maybe instead of two, set it to one. So you can see all the dots there. Click OK. Now what you want to do now is save that. So just close it and save. And then when you go back, you can see again, click on that and save that. So now what happens, that spiral you've got before, Instead of a continuous line, this is made up of dots. And you can remove the hue and saturation and liquefy at any point. Go back to the original design. Now again, what you can do, you can save that to your library. So if you're happy with that spiral, you want to save it for future use, that's a great way. Just put it into the library. Now I'm just going to use, delete that, and I'm going to go back to the new guide layout. Click OK. I'm using 16 by 16 again. And again, go to the pen tool, click in the center, and you don't have to create a very, very basic spiral. You can create more complex spirals. Just click on different points, go further up. Now, you could add maybe more guidelines, maybe 20 or 30 guidelines, just to make it even easier to create really unusual spirals that can still nicely consistent. They're not all over the place. Now you could create a spiral that's all over the place. Up to you, of course. Once you're happy with that, press escape, change the color again, change it to black or green or blue, change the stroke width, and again, view and clear the guides. Go to the pen tool, now, at this point, you can't see the points. I mean, you, they're, they're there. Obviously, you can double click it, you can do that. But I like to see the points. So I'm just going to go direct selection tool so you can now see the points. Go back to the curvature tool and double click on that second one. Double click again. Double click. Go around the whole spiral. Unless you want a square spiral, of course. Up to you. And just repeat, don't click, double click on the last one. So you don't want that to join. And once you've done that, what you can do then, I'm just going to resize that slightly. 
So direct selection tool, so you can see all the points. You can also then go to layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. Resize it so you can actually see the spiral inside the document. Now you can double click on that at any point. Go again to the direct selection tool, see all the points. You can also change the, now, if you do that, what you need to do is resize that spiral because now it's slightly outside of the range of the smart object. So just resize that, so make it a bit smaller. It's a vector design, it can be big, it can be small, but you just need it within that confines. Click save. Now you can see the spiral design there. And again, what you can do, you can do exactly the same as before. You don't have to do that, of course. Go to layer, layer style, and drop shadow, bevel and emboss, satin, color overlay, up to you. Click OK. And again, what you can do, you can save that to your libraries. You can also go to layer and smart objects, convert to smart objects. So the whole thing, the spiral and the styles, all one smart object. And you can apply blurs. So I'm going to go for a blur gallery. Tilt shift. So you can create some slight blurring. Instead of having a nice sort of uniform, very sharp spiral, you've got some slight blurring at the edges. Click OK. You can also go for transformations, maybe perspective warp. Go for the layer option first, so just create a little grid using the layouts. Move that around. Once you're happy with that, go to the warp in the little top, and that's the second stage, and then just warp the design. So, so you can sort of distort it again. Now, you, let's say you can use liquify, you can use other transformations as well, but this is another way, perspective warp, click OK. Now, not happy with that, so I'm just gonna undo. So what you can do then, go to filter and liquefy, and again, use some of the liquefy tools. You can just drag over that way, drag that way. Distort it in numerous ways, click OK. Now, at any point that can be removed. So liquefy can just get rid of it. You can also get rid of the blur gallery. And you can repeat that numerous times, add maybe other effects as well. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. Thank you much.